Hey everybody, Shwayze here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five things that I love about the 2022 BMW i4 M50. Okay, so in no particular order, the first thing that I love about the BMW i4 really has to do with its exterior styling. I mean, take a look at this vehicle. This thing looks really good. Now, I get looks are subjective, but I think a lot of people will agree that this is a good looking vehicle front and back, inside and outside. Now, I'll show you the inside in just a minute here, but this is a pretty attractive looking vehicle overall. And I gotta say, even though some people do not like the updated styling of the 4 Series and 3 Series with its giant front grille. Um, most of the people that I have actually taken this car to and seen it in person really like the styling. So I think it's one of those things where you kind of have to see it to get used to it and really like it. For me, I've actually liked it from day one, but I'm kind of the minority here. But for the most part, it's a really aggressive looking electric vehicle. And honestly, you wouldn't even be able to tell that this is electric from just looking at it. Uh, the other thing I will mention is if you do a lot of car photography, this vehicle actually looks really good in photos and I'm not sure exactly why I think it's probably the aggressive lines that are kind of running throughout the vehicle but overall it looks really good in photos now let me show you the interior because it's just as nice as the exterior if not better because this one has the cognac interior coloring with that brown and black leather looks really nice um, carries on into the back seats as well and then you've got these dual all digital displays and you've got a nice open pour wood as well I think it's an oak wood looks really nice and there's several different options in typical German fashion you can get a red interior black etc etc so that's got to be the first thing I really love about this vehicle now the second thing that I love about this vehicle has to do with its Harman Kardon sound system so I wanted to show you the subwoofer real quick but let me me show you what the speakers look like uh, because this vehicle has a really premium interior sound quality one of the best I've had in any car I've reviewed or owned myself I've really liked Harman Kardon sound systems back from my days of owning a C300 but it's really really good it's maybe even better in this vehicle and BMW doesn't specifically say how many speakers are in this vehicle uh, but from my research I've seen it's either 16 or 17 speakers and that's a large amount of speakers for a vehicle that's uh, kind of pretty small it's about the same size as a 3 Series. So 16 to 17 speakers is a massive amount for a compact or small sports sedan. The next thing I really love about the i4 has to do with its clever technology and safety features. I mean, for one, you've got a 12.3 inch all digital display here, which looks really nice with really nice graphics. Then you've got a 14.9 inch 4K display over here. Also extremely intuitive and easy to use. Really nice use of technology. And there's some really clever technology as well because you do have a head-up display on the i4 and that is an option but one thing I really like about this use of technology and head-up display is you can actually tune all of the different radio stations out there so this isn't just your presets or anything like that this isn't even a seek button this is essentially going through every single radio station by just using this little controller knob over here rather than taking your hands off the steering wheel and then using either a rotary knob here or actually actually using the physical touchscreen. And then in terms of the technology, I also have to mention the safety features. Uh, it's truly incredible. This vehicle will actually show you all of the vehicles around you once you have your uh, adaptive cruise control on. And this vehicle will actually change lanes if you turn the blinker on as you're driving on the freeway. It will actually give you a little graphic on the screen and then it will make sure there's an opportunity for you to merge over left or right. That's really intuitive technology that I haven't seen in very many other vehicles aside from a Tesla model. Model 3. The other cool safety or technology feature here is this vehicle can actually self park in a parking lot once it finds a spot that this vehicle will fit in. And even though this is not a industry first, it's still really cool to see this thing spinning the wheel around without me controlling it whatsoever. And you've got these little blinking lights here to kind of let you know that it's activated. So really cool and clever use of technology on the i4. Now the next thing I love about this vehicle, we're going to have to hit the road because it's the ride quality. We're about to drive over some train tracks and let's see if you can hear them. That was me driving over some pretty rough train tracks that I have driven on in the past and in my Bronco that kind of shakes up the entire interior of the vehicle but here 
it honestly surprised me how comfortable this vehicle drives. I mean, considering this is a BMW, which is already kind of the ultimate driving machine, it's gonna be a little bit more stiffer, rougher, and this is the M50 trim. So this is the sport tuned aggressive trim. And honestly, this thing rides like you would expect a seven series BMW. I mean, it's a really smooth ride. And also taking into consideration the fact that these are the upgraded 20 inch wheels with the low profile tires. So uh, honestly, kudos to BMW. This is one of the softest vehicles I've driven in. And maybe the biggest surprise because I did not expect a BMW M50 to ride the way it does. Now, the next thing I love is a little bit obvious. Uh, and of course, we're on the road again. And that has to do with the acceleration and the sounds. So I'm going to put it into sport boost mode. And that's actually going to make uh, it like extra quick. And this thing will do 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds. And uh, we'll just do a quick pull here. Wow, I mean, it is, it, it never gets old. Uh, you know, that's what I'm gonna say is, I've driven this car for about a week and I've done that probably a dozen times and every single time it still shocks me how quick this vehicle is to 60 uh, or just to 30 or whatever. I mean, this is just a wickedly quick vehicle and it almost feels like a spaceship or an airplane. I've had family who have driven this car relate this to an airplane because the front end actually lifts off uh, obviously not entirely, you know, the tires don't lose contact, but I mean, you are just catapulted into the back and boy, is it quick. Now I think BMW and from what I've seen on other YouTube videos doing zero to 60 tests is underrating this vehicle at 3.7. I'm thinking it's likely closer to three and a half seconds, maybe even under that. This thing just pulls like a space shuttle. Uh, we're gonna do another quick pull here in just a second. And it's hard to do it because when you're driving on city roads, uh, you quickly hit that speed limit. So this is really only useful on drag strips or freeway on ramps. But other than that, you're gonna get to 60 miles an hour in the blink of an eye. Now, as we're waiting for cars to pass, the next thing related to the acceleration that I love is the dynamic sounds inside of this M50 Sport Edition. Wow, I, it's a roller coaster. Uh, I'm sure you may have heard, but there were some sounds coming into the cabin and those are dynamic sounds that BMW partnered up with music composer Hans Zimmer to create a bespoke tuned audio composition for the BMW M50 specifically. And it has like a Tron-like, uh, Dark Knight-like sound to it, similar to all other Hans Zimmer sounds that he's made for some famous movies. Uh, but that just adds to the experience, makes it a funner vehicle to drive because it's not just some quiet EV, it kind of adds drama to the entire experience of accelerating. And I gotta say, I love it. I mean, it makes this vehicle so much more funner to drive, more similar to like a gas powered internal combustion engine. I'm going to do one more pull here for you all on camera. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like ripping your cheeks off of your skull. It's insane. You gotta experience it firsthand to really understand what it's like. Well, there you have it, folks. That was five things that I absolutely love on the BMW M50. I do wanna give a huge thank you to BMW for giving me the opportunity to review this vehicle for the last week and produce some pretty cool videos, in my opinion. If you haven't checked out the other videos, make sure you check them out on the channel. I'll throw them down in the description below and up on the screen. If you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscription to the channel. Also check out all the social media down below at Shwayze underscore. And as always, everybody, I hope you stay Shwayze, stay healthy, have a wonderful day.